Hello and welcome to this session on Postman beginner tutorial and today we are going to see how can we create the very first API request in Postman and we will run and validate it. So we are going to see in a very basic step by step manner how do we create an API request, how do we run the request in Postman and then how do we analyze the response. So let's get started and I will go to my Postman window and here you have a option for workspaces so you can click here and select any of the existing workspaces or you can also create a new so let us create a new workspace and this will be a personal workspace and let me name this as workspace 1 you can give some description which is optional and hit on create workspace so now we are on workspace 1 and then we have this option here to create a new element and we can create a new request from here you can also go to file and hit on new it will again give you this window where you can select a new request so I will select this create new request and here I can give the request name so let me go to my browser and search for a sample rest API request so I will say sample rest API and hit enter and we have got some options so this is a good option REQ RES they give us some APIs for testing so here we have a lot of APIs we have get we have post as well so I am going to go with this get for a single user so I will copy the URL from here and go to a new tab and paste the URL and then I also have to copy the request endpoint which is this one so I will take this and again add it to a new browser and if I now hit this this gives me a response so this is a working request so let me go to my postman window again and I can name anything so I will say this is get user and a description will be optional and then here you have to either add to an existing collection or create a new collection so we will learn about collections in more detail in the next session but for now I will just create a new collection and say collection 1 and then select the collection and then save to collection so you can see if you go to collections you have this one request inside the collection which is get user this is what we just created and if you hit here you will get the request in the builder window and you will also get a new tab here for that particular request now here I will add the URL so this is the URL I will copy it from here and go to my postman and just give the URL here so this is a get so I do not have to give any body or anything else and also it does not require any headers in the coming sessions we will deal with a little more complex request but for now let us go with this very simple request and that's it I will now hit the send button so I will say send and you can see we have got the response here so let us understand in the response you will get the body and in the body you will get the actual body that is being returned from the server and you can view this into a pretty format a raw format or any other format which is available and you can also select it from here so what all representations for this response is available you will get it here so you can see XML you can see HTML text and of course JSON is here and then we have this button to wrap a line so in case you are getting a response which is a very long response and it is going beyond the boundaries you can select to wrap it and then the next important section is here where we get the status of the request so 200 is the HTTP status code which is for OK and then we have the time taken by the request or the response to come in milliseconds and then we have the size so if you hover over the size you will get actual size of the body and then the headers so this is very important and then we have other sections like cookies so you can look at this here the headers which are there in the response are here and then of course in case you create any test you will get the test results which we will look into in the coming sessions 
now also if you want to search for something in the response you can click on this search button and then search for your particular value if you want to copy the response you can click on this copy button so it will copy to clipboard and then you can paste it anywhere else as well and then you have an option to save the response so if you will click on save where you can hit the save example and of course if you go to the sidebar you have the collections where you will have your request inside your collection and then you will have the history so this was the run that we did today so you can see this is the history you can go and see this if you run it once again you will see new additions in the history column and this was a very very simple request in the coming sessions we will deal with a little more complex and different types of request i hope this session was useful for you please hit the like button and share with others and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel i will meet you in the next episode of postman thank you for watching